Hello and welcome to Digital Jeepney. My name is Hazel and I'm here to teach you how to use the IVCS3 in less than 3 minutes. For starters, the IVCS3 is a modular synth, which means its parts aren't initially connected to each other in any particular way. You can use several sound sources, like oscillators 1, 2, and 3 here, or the extra oscillator and the filter section. You can also use other inputs like the sampler or the keyboard or the mic input, but we'll discuss that in a separate tutorial. Here's the input output matrix, which is the very heart of this amazing app. Let me just connect oscillator 1 to output channels 1 and 2, which are panned hard left and hard right. We have the sine wave sounding off on the left ear and the saw wave sounding off on the right ear. Now let's get rid of that and use oscillator 2 as our sound source. Of course, the whole point of this exercise is to use the different modules in the IVCS3. So let's plug that square wave into the filter. And from the filter, maybe we could use the envelope. This would give us the chance to come up with the different rhythmic patterns a little later. Might as well use the triangle in oscillator 2. And maybe from the envelope, we could run it into the reverb, like so and from the reverb, run it into our outputs. So, there you have it. We have a basic sound coming off of the IVCS3. So in this example, we're using Oscillator 2 as our sound source, plugged into the filter. And from the filter, we plug it into the envelope to come up with different rhythms. And from there, run it through the reverb straight into our output. It's also worth mentioning that our output module has a built-in high-pass filter, so go ahead and tweak it and find your sound. After we're done with all of this, of course, we'd want to use um, the joystick to control our sound. So we could, um, yeah, maybe use it the, the left and right movement to control the frequency of oscillator 2. And let's, let's check that out. There you have it. And maybe use the joystick to control the filter setting as well. So there you go, a working IVCS3 patch. It's a very simple patch, there are a lot more things you can do with this app, but for now, this is as far as we go. Thank you for watching, and go crazy with it.